It's not the actual program that makes change. It's the way you or the spirit of the program. And I think if once they've left the program or while during the program, those are the sorts of things that we, 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 we really concentrate hard on, is the way to what is your way to about? What is it telling you? What should it tell you to do? What shouldn't it tell you to do? Usually with drug and alcohol and addictions, you know, you're putting all those things aside. So it's about reconnecting about who you are in your birth. It's a model that starts off with when they come in here, they start off in the stage of darkness, which is Te Kore, um, and they move through different stages. Um, it's actually on the back wall there, and it's moving right through from Te Kore to Te Pō, right through to Te Ao Maurama, which is in these various stages in between, and it's about growth and development, looking at your past, acknowledging your feelings. And what they what we um, show to them is it's an everyday model that they work through in, at Te Araho. And then when things happen for them, they go back to, you know, Te Kore and they might end up in that stage, but it's about moving forward those stages and then ultimately getting to Te Marama, which is the, you know, the wellness. We have a Waiata group. So technically people would say, what has, what is, how does singing a waiata um, support someone being alcohol or drug free? Well, for us, it means everything. Okay, so our waiata group is based on social theory. So it's about whanaunga tanga. It's about getting to meet other people who are in recovery or who are new to recovery. It's about teaching a way of being together in a, in a safe environment and maybe outside of our environment, because we don't have control outside of our environment either, but it's a way for them to learn a different waiata from around our country. A lot of our guys that do come in don't have a sense of identity, don't have a sense of knowing who they are, and that's just um, not so much, that can be culturally, but that can also be as a person. And so one of the techniques we use is linking them up with um, their culture, you know, getting them back to their culture. Sometimes it's not always Māori, it might be the Pacific Island culture, and we have a lot of Pacific Island um, guys that come through here as well, Pākehā as well, and it's about linking up them to their culture, uh, maybe their marae, their whakapapa, and, and, and helping them to learn that, and we do those through different programs. I think for our service, we we're not, we don't stand in isolation as a service because our whaiora have become part of our whānau. So a lot of the people that have been through our service and some of them are still around in, in this community, they can be anywhere between you know, two weeks abstinence through to 20 odd years and they will still be part of our, our service, whether they work for us or whether they come in to support some of the groups we run whether they're talking through AA meetings or NA meetings um, to say how they cleaned up or that process. We're, we're pretty well known in our community for, for that level of support and encouragement.